Hey, welcome to some One Piece, where I review this right here. Every chapter of it, there's like 700 of them. Strap in, it's gonna be a long ride. 700, what the fuck, that's a lot. Now this episode will be a little bit longer than most because instead of just talking about the chapter, I'm kinda gonna explain One Piece a little bit for the people who don't know what it is. One Piece is an extremely popular manga and anime over in Japan. It's also very popular over here stateside. And I think if people just give One Piece a chance they'll just, they'll love reading. But here's the problem with One Piece. Out of almost any series I've ever read or watched, even though it's by far, leaps and bounds, my favorite, One Piece has kind of a very slow start. But you need that slow start. Like, it builds up, and then it just, it's just fucking, it's like a train. It's like choo-choo, motherfucker, I mean, and it just keeps going down the track. I honestly can't throw this around too much, I mean, because... I'm not one to own a lot of physical copies of stuff. I, I do have One Piece, and if you can support it and you like it, definitely support it. But underneath the video in the description box, I'll be uh, leaving places that you can actually read it, the chapter that this is going to be on, which this one will be the first chapter, um, if you would like to follow along, if you haven't already read it. And I completely encourage you to follow along. The first book, as well as the first chapter, Romance Dawn very first thing that we learn is about a pirate named Gold Roger. He had fame, wealth, and power. He had everything that the world could offer him. But yet, he was up on the gallows getting ready to get his head chopped off. And then he's like, there's huge amount of crowds around him and everything. And right before they get ready to kill him, he's like, oh, check this out, motherfuckers. I got this treasure. It's called the One Piece. Shit, if you can find it, it's yours. And it's like, you guys want to find it? And everyone's like, yeah, I want to find it. And he's like, then get the fuck out there and be a pirate. And he starts his great pirate age. We're going to transport ourselves to a small town where we meet a little kid. And uh, he just so happens to be the main character of the entire book. His name's Monkey D. Luffy. And he's trying to impress people because he's a little kid. He's trying to, you know, impress, like, the older kids or the older men. And he's like, you know what, fuck you. I, I can be just as tough as you pirates right here. And he stabs himself in the eye and... He gets his uh, little nifty signature scar underneath his eye. Now we meet a red-haired pirate named Shanks, and he's the one that basically Luffy's trying to impress. Like him and his whole entire crew, they're all sitting around in a pub, like laughing it up and everything, having a good time. And Luffy's talking about how tough he is, and Shanks is kind of pulling a little dirty trick on him. He's like, oh, he's like, well, yeah, yeah, you're tough. And then and then he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, do you want a, Lu uh, a juice, Luffy? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'll take one, Shanks. And then he gets it, and then Shanks is all, I've never seen a pirate drink juice. And then Luffy's all pissed off. Now, while all this is going on, a group of mountain bands just <laughs> fucking kick down the door. They come in, and they're like, we want some motherfucking alcohol now. The barkeep's like, I'm sorry, we're all out, and Shanks is saying, oh, I'm, I, I'm very sorry, you know, we, we got to drinking it and everything like that. And he offers him uh, the last little bit of alcohol that they have, and he busts it over Shanks' head. Shanks being the good guy that he is, he doesn't let a game down, so he doesn't fight him. Luffy gets angry at Shanks for not fighting him. He says, how are you even a man? You, you didn't even stand up for yourself. And right at that point, a little bit earlier, Luffy ate something that he shouldn't have ate. He ate a devil fruit, and... You'll learn more about devil fruits as time goes on, but but this one was a uh, was the gum gum fruit, and uh, his whole entire arm just starts stretching. And Shanks is like, "Luffy, did you eat the gum gum fruit?" And like, and Luffy starts freaking out because his whole entire body is now made of rubber. Anyone that eats a devil fruit can no longer swim. Time goes on. Luffy even admits that he's very happy that he actually ate the gum gum fruit. He enjoys being a rubber man. And later on, the Mountain Bandits come back, and this time. Shanks isn't around, and Luffy starts something with him. He's like, how dare you do this to my friends, blah, 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 and Luffy gets kidnapped. Shanks finds out. He goes, finds the Mountain Bandits. Mountain Bandits threatens him by putting the gun to his head. Shanks does a, uh, a very nifty little speech about how basically guns aren't for threats. They're for action. And then one of Shanks' crew members is like, and blasts the head off one of the, the Mountain Bandit crew members. Turns out the red-haired pirates are extremely powerful. The Mountain Bandit gets scared. is like, pfft. Throws down a little ninja smoke stream, gets the fuck out, and Shanks is like, Oh my god, I let Luffy get away! The mountain bandit took him out onto the ocean because he doesn't think any pirate is going to think to look for a mountain bandit who obviously just inhabits the mountain on the water. So he's out in the ocean, a great big sea king comes, and it, like he throws Luffy into the water, and the sea king clamps down on the mountain bandit, completely eats him. Luffy's struggling because he ate a devil fruit, he can't swim. Shanks comes to his rescue. Here's the bad part, when he's rescuing Luffy... 
was pushing him out of the way because the Sea King was getting ready to clamp down on Luffy and eat him too. Shanks gets his arm completely clean, bit off. But then, like a badass, Shanks just looks at the Sea King and the Sea King is like, and like swims away because Shanks ain't having it. So Luffy's role model, Shanks, now has his arm completely gone. Luffy's crying, bawling. I mean, he's he feels so indebted to, um, to Shanks. And then uh, Shanks is actually getting ready to leave at this point. This little bit of time has passed, and and Shanks is saying, "Oh, I'm, I'm you'll never be a pirate. I'm not gonna let you be a uh, pirate." And then Luffy said, "I'm gonna be king of the pirates." And then uh, Shanks takes his signature straw hat and he gives it to Luffy and puts it on his head. And Luffy's all tears and all bawling. And he said, "You know what?" He said, "When you become a great pirate, you return this hat to me." Ten years has passed, and Luffy has grown up now. He's leaving on his own journey. He's on a really tiny little ship, like hardly any food, just nothing on this ship. And as he's leaving, the same Sea King that, that killed the Mountain Bandit, almost killed him, and bit Shank's arm off, is right there. And uh, Luffy's been training for ten years. He winds his arm back, hits him with a gum-gum pistol, and uh, that, my friends, is the end of Chapter 1. I'm just giving you guys a very brief overview. I, it is far better if you read it yourself. Um, I am going to do a review of every single chapter up until... I, I can't say until I get bored because I've, I'll never get bored of One Piece. But I definitely recommend it. Uh, make sure you check the links below. Go read the first chapter. Like I said, it's, it's a slow start. You After you've read it all, because this will be my third time... What is it? I've read so many just random chapters. I think it will be my, once I read all this way through, it will be my third complete time through reading it. And I've watched all the anime like twice. But um, you appreciate the slower start after you've already read it. But I will say, when I first started reading this, my friend Jeremy recommended it to me. And I think it honestly took me until about the third book. So I think probably about 14 chapters or 14, 16 chapters or so before I really honestly got into it. But where most people say they really get into it is around, I think it's like maybe around like the 90th chapter or something like that is when, is when like, if, if you're not into it by that point, it's not for you. But, but everyone that's made it to that point, they stick with it.